Hey there kids, welcome to another math video. This is for Eureka Math, Grade 5, Module 5, Lesson 3, Homework. Knocking out some volume videos here. So the objective for this lesson is at the bottom of the page and it says to compose and decompose right rectangular prisms using layers. And so the important part that you can take away from this lesson is that your right rectangular prism can be in layers, like I say, a cake, or you can change the arrangement or alignment of your right rectangular prism. And so you could technically say, well, it's in layers this way. And so I call that like a loaf of bread. And so it's more like slices. And so you can say the word layer and really talk about several different dimensions. And so uh, to find volume, you have length, width, and height. And so uh, in my past videos, I've always talked about, I'm always using the height as going up and down in your book, uh, the vertical way. But um, today in lesson three, the tricky part is that you need to be able to see the three dimensions uh, when the cubes, the rectangular prisms are, you know, tipped up or tipped back or turned this way or that way or whatever. So anyway, that's a tricky part. Um, I'm not going to explain all that uh, anymore. You should go watch the problem set video if you want to know more. And it will really, really help you. And I think I actually have some of the uh, centimeter cubes and I show you all the... So anyway, um, go check that one out before you attempt this. And of course, do your homework first before you watch this video. So you can just check and see how you did. Um, so we're going to use the prisms to find the volume. The rectangular prisms pictured below were constructed with one centimeter cubes. Important to know because every now and then that's going to change. Decompose each prism into layers in three different ways. Uh, and show your thinking on the blank prisms. Complete each table. So number of layers. I always start with the most basic. What I definitely see first is going to be the two layers of the cake. And then how many cubes in each layer? So now that's when you're going to do your length times the width, four by three. So 12, because four times three is 12. And then you wanna calculate, this is the length and width times the height. So you get your 24. So hopefully you got a two here, a 12 here and 24 here, and it has to be in that order. For the second one, um, again, like which way do you want to turn the figure and so let's say I have four layers one two three four so then I'm talking about how many would be in just this section here on the end what do you see um, just on the end and so it's going to be six cubes in uh, this one two three four layers and so in the box here in the chart, you want to have the one, two, three, four layers, but six cubes in each layer. That still gives you 24 because you should have 24. It's not changing between um, any of our problems. We're just looking at it differently. And then for the final one, uh, the three layers, that's going across this way. So that's always a little difficult to see, but if I was to color this with a different color shading, this front layer is what we're talking about here. And so um, uh, how many layers do you have? You have three layers, the front one, and then going back, that's that width dimension right here, one, two, three. So a uh, number of layers, one, two, three, but how many in each layer? Two, four, six, eight. So we have a totally different number. But again, very similar to lesson uh, two, where how many different ways can you make 24? Well, you can make it in lots of different ways. So um, now you get to draw it. So the, uh, the first way is the number of layers. All you have to do is separate this one into two layers. Okay, You don't have to um, draw all the different boxes. Uh, the first one is shown here, but just show the layers so that everybody can see that you see the way that it's being turned. The second one is the four layers. So if you mark it here in half, then you can cut each one in half. Oops, 
off a little too far, but cut each half in half. And then again, watch out for your um, the parallel lines. A lot of kids will just kind of go straight up and it's like, well, make it parallel with the end lines and that will help you with that three-dimensional look. Now the final one, it's the skinny layers going this way. So you have to have three sections on top and look at that's gonna be really hard uh, to squeeze them all in there, but you have to do it and then you have to layer it on the side as well. And so that's where the three layers are. And if you do it this way, that should be good enough because you're showing the layers, okay? Hopefully that is helpful. All right, for B, same thing, but we have a different um, arrangement of cubes. So again, just like the cake, if I had a super stacked up cake, I would have several layers here. I don't know how many flavors you could get. One, two, three, four, five layers. And then how many are in each layer? If it's too hard for you to see at the bottom because you can't see everything, which you can calculate it mathematically with a three by two, or you can come up here to the top and go, okay, three by two, and I can see them all, and that's gonna be six. So the total volume of this rectangular prism, we're gonna get 30 each time, okay? And then if you wanna match it, again, we're having the pictures that we have to match with over here on the side. And so this is gonna be the layering across the front, just like we did, and then the parallel lines on the side. So we'll just kind of do it as we go this time. So now we have our super tall cake. Must be a wedding cake or something. And then uh, the if we tip it a different direction, um, let's say we tip it this way. Okay, so then I have this as a layer, but this is a layer and this is a layer too. So I have three layers. So how many are in each layer? Two, four, six, eight, 10. Still giving you 30, but this time the layers are going, and if you would prefer to start in the front, it's going to end up looking like that. And then uh, finally, we only have the one with two layers, but that's that hard to see going back into the, um, into the, the page there. And this would be the two layers, two, but how many are in each layer? Now you get to count all the cubes on the front here, three by five, two times 15 being 30. So I hope you can see uh, those layers. And I know this is kind of a hard lesson uh, for kids to visually discriminate those layers. All right, now if you thought that was interesting, here's one. Stephen and Chelsea want to increase the volume of this prism by 72 cubic centimeters. Chelsea wants to add eight layers and Stephen says they only need to add four layers. Their teacher tells them, oh, you're both correct. How is this possible? <laughs> All right, so if you were stumped on this one, what you want to do is you want to really think about how could I break up my 72. And if you're breaking up your 72 or dividing it evenly into eight layers, then what you want to think about is how could I share this evenly and how many would I have? So 72 divided by eight is nine. And so if you have eight more layers, there would be nine in each layer. Do you see on this figure where you could have nine in each layer? And so that's gonna be right over here where you see the three by three. And so um, Chelsea wants to add layers going this direction. That's, that's when it's like, just turn your book or turn your head or something so that you can see if I have nine in each layer, nine, times eight makes 72. So we could extend this. That'd be a tall building and it would be hard to um, build if it's going up and down. All of our centimeter cubes just fall all over the place when we try to go tall. But if you, you extended it this way, what we might call the length way, then that's layering, but going 
uh, the length way across that long side. Um, Steven says they can add four layers. So again, 72 is how much we want to increase by. But he wants to divide it by four layers. So how many would be in each layer? So we got to divide four into 72. Now, most people can't do that uh, just by looking at it or by carrying over the extra. So you can set it up over here, divide, multiply, subtract, compare, bring down, divide, and multiply, subtract. Compare, bring down, there's nothing to bring down, 18. And so then you would have 18 cubes in each layer. And where would you get the 18? So then you start looking over here and you go, okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And so if it's six cubic units wide and three here, that's your length and width going uh, for the, the normal dimensions that I say, this is length and this is width. So that means we're stacking up in this direction. So a six by three will give you 18 cubes across this way and you can stack up. So if I put 18 in each layer, this is how Stephen can be correct. So explain how it's possible. Um, you would just say that Chelsea will add uh, the three by, whoop, that's not good, three by three sections this way and Stephen will add the six by three going this way okay so um, so that's how you can kind of explain how that's possible I hope you can see it again turn your book turn your head turn your page whatever you need to to try to understand that the length width and height are the three dimensions and we can move them around uh, as we need to. Okay, Juliana makes a prism. Hi Juliana, but they spelled it wrong. Uh, Juliana makes a prism four inches across and four inches wide, but only one inch tall. Okay, that's a four by four by one. She then decides to create layers equal to her first one fill in the chart below and explain how you know the volume of each new prism. So I feel there's a test question on some online test and I looked at it and I went, we did something in the book and it was just like this and I thought it was going to be so easy and I couldn't believe it. This is a few years back. Couldn't believe how confusing it was for kids and I'm like, but they tell you the area of the base is 16. This is length. This is width. This is height. The only thing they're changing is the height. So the, the volume here is 16 inches cubed, but the area of the base is 16 <laughs> inches squared. So what we need to do is we need to look at the area of the base and multiply it by the number of layers. That's what you do to fill in this chart. And so if I now have three layers instead of one, we're taking four by four by three. Now you can multiply in any order. You can take your 16 and multiply by three. I don't know my 16s by heart, so I would do six times three is 18. Carry the one, three times one is three plus one is four. If I wanted to do it in an easier way, I would, if I wasn't doing it for this particular thing, I would have done 12 and then four times 12 because I knew that was 48 right off the top of my head. So um, the volume here is 48 and it's gonna be inches cubed. Go ahead because they're asking for the volume, label it and make sure you put your three exponent that needs to be there. But your explanation is going to be take the area of the base and multiply it by the height. Take the area of the base, which is 4 by 4, and times 3. Okay, so you're going to multiply it by the height. Oh, and the lights went off. Hey, 
because I've been doing too many videos and taking too much time. Okay, that's all right. It's all good. We got to help you guys out. So then what do you do here? You're going to take four by four and by five. Okay. And so for this one, you might want to take your 20 and multiply by four. That would be clear. And again, same label, same exponent. Now we have volume. We got a three. So we're going to take the area of base. Okay. So it's 16 times five. And so I did it here with the four times five is 20, but really we're taking the area of the base, which is already 16, multiplying it by five. Same thing. Take the area of the base and multiply it by seven. Times seven. And if you want to do it this way, so stick with our, our formula here, six times seven, 42. 11, 112 inches cubed. And so um, this is how you do it. This is how we do it. And we're just taking the different height and you're tossing it into your formula. That's all, not too hard there. Don't forget, click to subscribe. Just do it, click, okay. Imagine the rectangular prism below is four meters long, so I like to think of this as the four. Three meters tall, they just gave you what I would say is the height, and two meters wide, and that those dimensions look right, so I'm fine with leaving these just like they are. Draw horizontal lines to show how the prism could be decomposed into layers that are one meter in height. So all they mean is, uh, if you were going to create like those little cube things, just like at the top of this or on the previous page, make it look all cubic. And so if it's got four across, we've got to draw the lines down in order to separate the sections. And if it's three tall, then it would have to go across like so. Okay, now the front is the easiest part to do because it's just inside this plain little rectangle at first. So if you, if you block it off like that with your three height and your four length across, then all you need to worry about is your two and where would that go? Now remember, the lines on the sides need to match or be parallel to the ones on the top and the bottom. So give yourself a warm up and then connect. Give yourself a warm up and connect. So you want it to be parallel with the top and the bottom. Now, what about the side? If it's only two um, layers deep or like that, that width piece, you only have to have one line coming down from the top and one line going across parallel between the two lines but then finish off your striping going parallel with all of your left and right end pieces. Parallel, parallel, parallel. So it's not a straight line across the top. It'll look really strange. All right, so how many layers are there from top to the bottom? That's your height. Okay, that's right here. And then each horizontal layer. Okay, now remember the word horizon. If you watch the sun go down or come up, it's coming up over the horizon. So horizontal layers are this way. So how many um, cubic meters are in a layer like this? So uh, it's going to have four across times two, okay? Stack, stack, stack. The volume of this prism, but you got to get all, it's not just multiplying these two, it's four by two by three. And so you've got your eight times three, and it's 24. 24, and please label it, it's meters cubed. If you don't put that there, technically it's not volume, it's just a number. So that's it for Lesson 3 homework. I know it's kind of complicated, but I hope this video was helpful. We'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.